Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 10 of our 12 days of Christmas. It's almost over you guys. And today our special guest is Lena and I'm so excited to have her because she is like such a sweetheart and she's super uber talented and her and I have talked quite a bit online and she's just an amazing person and I'm so honored to have her with us for today. Our true love gave to us multiple photos. So I know that you guys love it when I do layouts with multiple photos because a lot of people don't do one photo layouts like I do. Um, so today I am going to be using four pictures. Now, to be honest, you know, they're smaller photos, but it makes me happy that I got four pictures on the layout. They are smaller, um, so there are two four by sixes, but um, it's still four separate pictures. So I'm super happy that I got four pictures on the layout and I like the way that it looks. Um, so I'm excited about this. It's a different, it's really a completely different layout than I've ever done before. And I kind of struggled with it and you'll see in a minute um, where I struggle. But first I'm going to take the photos and I'm going to keep them on like in on whole um, four by six pieces of um, picture photo paper, I guess, because I'm going to use them like they are. I'm not going to cut them up and put them all over the place. So I'm going to mat those on black cardstock. You guys have been loving my color scheme for my Christmas this year. Um, you guys, a lot of you are saying that you're liking the black and you're liking the pink and the gold um, mixed with the more traditional colors with the greens and reds. So I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying this. Again, I'm using the Fala La collection from Crepe Paper today. And I had this tree paper. It's pink with red little trees. And um, I had it left over from yesterday's layout. And so on the other side, it says it's the Fala La paper. So I used this side for this layout. So I'm getting a lot of use out of my pattern paper. I did not buy every single piece of the 12 by 12 paper in this collection. I just bought the ones that I knew that I was in love with and the ones that I knew that I would use. Um, so I'm definitely getting a lot of use out of this collection, you guys. I've made so many layouts with it and I still have a ton of stuff left. And I've actually um, quite close. I've used at least half of the ephemera pack, if not more. I've used up almost, um, I would say probably over half of the sticker sheet and over half or probably half of the chipboard stickers. So that's amazing to me. Um, I am going to put the photos up on foam, like craft foam. I'm using that. I like to use that when I'm using a big amount of it. Um, but I use the foam dots or foam squares behind little things. So I took a piece of chipboard sticker, which is that, um, wreath kind of looking thing, the black, the black wreath. And I cut it in two pieces and I'm going to use some of it behind the one or behind the one side of the photos and then the other part of it behind the other side of the photos. And I'm just going to layer the photos kind of stacked on top of each other. Um, and then the wreath here at the corners, I guess. Um, I love it. I love the way that this layout turned out. I'm also bringing in that gold washi, that gold glitter washi, which I absolutely love. And I've been using a ton of that and I still have a ton of it left. Um, I'm so in love with it. And I just like that it... I put it between the papers just to give it a little extra something there because I didn't really want to use another piece of paper. So that's what I did. Now I'm just trying to get those wreaths in place where I like them. And I'm going to use, I'm cutting it down just a little bit because I don't want it behind the foam, the craft foam, because I don't want it to be, I don't want the photos to be um, up on those spots, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. So I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue for the chipboard pieces. That glue super, super, super 
strong. So it works really well for the chipboard pieces. When I'm working with the chipboard pieces, if the sticky, like if the sticker part doesn't peel off, which it usually does, um, if it doesn't peel off, then I usually peel it off because I can work with it better that way um, and move it around and get it to where I like it before I actually have to stick it down. I'm gonna take this little tag from the ephemera pack and it says, happy ho, ho, ho to you. And I'm going to use some of that pink and white. It's like a light baby pink and white twine in it. And then I'm going to pull out my Distress Ink and Spun Sugar again. I did yesterday as well. And on my blending tool. And then I'm going to go around that piece there, that piece of ephemera. Um, and that is what I'm doing right now. I really like the way that the Distress Ink just puts like a little halo, like a pink halo kind of around that piece of ephemera. And now I'm taking this piece of chipboard. Um, it's a chipboard sticker from the, the sticker sheet, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to pop it up, the one side up on foam dots because the photo and this piece right here are both um, popped up. So... I'm going to put that piece on there and it just says 1225, which this, these photos were Christmas morning. Um, there are pictures of Emily opening her presents and then Greg opening his one present that he knows he gets every single year, which is a Mustang calendar to put in his garage. Every single year, ever since we were dating, that I've always bought him a Mustang calendar. It's just something that he knows he's going to get, um, but he loves it, so... <laughs> Um, he gets one every year, <laughs> even when he was, I believe even when he was in Iraq, I sent him a Mustang calendar. <laughs> it's just pictures of Mustangs in random places in the desert by the beach kind of thing. Um, I tried to do like a little, I don't know what that was. I don't know. It just wasn't working. So yeah, like a little banner maybe. I don't know. It wasn't working though. So it's okay. Let's see, I'm going to put foam squares behind the tag because of the chipboard piece, the wreath that it's sitting on top of um, is giving it that dimension. And so I wanna go ahead and make it even. And then I put that little joy flag behind it. And then I'm going to put the little candy cane, uh, the one from the chipboard sticker sheet that I love and I wanted to use on a previous layout, but I couldn't because it wasn't the right way. So, but today I can use it. And I also used the sticker sheet for the little houses and they're so darling, they're so cute. I just layered them on top of each other to make them look like a little neighborhood. And I used one of the pretty little red bows from the um, pack that I got from the dollar spot at Target. And then this little banner that says, welcome Santa and a snowflake sticker. I tried to use that one, but it was too big. And I think that that's going to be it. I'm also going to do some gold Heidi Swap color shine. I'm going to do some splatters in two spots. And I'm also going to use some of these little gold words from Maggie Holmes. And it says, love this. Hashtag so happy. You make my days magical and grateful for this. And then that's going to be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying our new series that we have out. Um, and I'm loving all the feedback. I'm loving all your comments. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm trying to comment back to everyone. So check out Lena's, check out Tina's and their links will be provided below so you can check them out. I will have all of the products that I used linked below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.